Friday Night Blitz. Friday Night Blitz. We're going to have a fun one for you tonight. It's crunch time in Texas and Arkansas. District championships are being decided in the lower levels, including in our game of the week, Timpson hosting Joaquin. We'll get to that game in a bit. Here in Louisiana, we're entering the second half of the season, so that's where we start tonight. Our first game up, it's Northwood at Evangel. Denny Duran taking over the reins at Evangel, hosting Northwood. Northwood starting off through the air. Look at this. Mason Welch delivering a strike, but it's picked off. That's Ricky Wiggins. Wiggins brought down hard. Evangel, they're on offense now. Quarterback rolling out, trying to find someone. And who else but Torrance Sparks? Sparks, he's all over the place on defense. Ball hawk. Look at him go. Will anyone catch him streaking down the sideline? Sparks, he's going to be caught. Finally pushed out of bounds, but that's going to set it up for Mason Welch. The Falcons back on offense. Welch running into some traffic, takes it the other direction. That's not how I saw that play ending in the end zone, but that's what happened there. Quick three and out for the Eagles. Welch takes the snap, and oh boy, look at this. Tossing this one deep for our player of the week, Terrence Cook. Cook coming back for the football, making a guy miss. Cook, he's, he's really good. He's, he's a lot of fun to watch. And Northwood ending that 29-year home district winning streak for Evangel. Taking home the W tonight, 42-23. to Down in 3A, the Bozier Bearcats taking on Loyola. Bearcats, first offensive play, James Davis. Can't hold on to the ball, Sam Schwack. Forcing the fumble and the Flyers recover. Can't get anything going on offense though, so that means it's Avian's, Avian Smith's time to shine. Smith drilling this for the first points of the game. It's 3-0 Flyers early. Flyers get the ball back and get to work. Trey Taylor with the carry, gets the corner. Nice chunk of yards here, pushed out of bounds inside the 20. And then Jacob Lafitte hitting Taylor with the swing pass. Taylor strides right into the end zone. It's 10-0 Flyers early, but the Bearcats would battle back in this one. They get home. Uh, they get the win 26 to 23. In 5A, the Houghton Buccaneers at home for homecoming, taking on Arcadia. Beautiful night for some football. Quarterback dropping back, hits his receiver. He's drilled. Next play, screen. Looks like the play is dead, but watch this. Pump fake hits the guy on the outside, breaks, makes a couple Guys miss here, still on his feet. No one's going to tackle him. See you later. He's in the end zone for the quick score. Bucks back on offense. Big hole for the running back here. Another score. Bucks controlling the lead in this game. It was all Bucks tonight. Final score in this one 41 to nothing, getting the big homecoming win. Let's stay in 1 5A now. The Parkway Panthers taking on Woodlawn. Starting things off third quarter, Jatavius Morris takes the handoff. Look at him. Will someone tackle this man? I don't know if they will. Break it, tackles. Still on his feet. My goodness, the balance there. Finally brought down, but no. A flag. Flag's ruined. Oh, my goodness. Play doesn't count. Parkway with the ball. Running back here takes the handoff. Brought down pretty hard, but he gets into the end zone on the very next play. Parkway strikes. Parkway ensuing kickoff. Jatavius Morris, we just said his name earlier. You saw the incredible balance. Watch this, catches the ball off of the hop. See you later. You can't spin. You got to wrap. You spin Morris around. Morris, he don't care. You saw the stiff arm there? That's just rude, Morris bringing it back, but Parkway, they go on to win this one, 36 to 26 over Woodlawn. Minden heading east on I-20, taking on Neville tonight. Let's pick things up in the first quarter. Anthony Allen, look at this. Heads out to the left side, says, you know what? Let's take it all the way back around to the right. Allen, score the first points of the game. Neville up seven to nothing. Neville taking turns here. It's Timothy Bird, watch Bird. Bird, electric. Takes the handoff off the left tackle. Bird cutting back across the defense. Will someone catch this man? Watch the defender. Tries to get him out of bounds, but he can't. He's in for the score. 14 0 Neville. And Neville, they're not done. Dexter Robinson now. Watch him. Robinson wide open. Beautiful catch falling backwards into the end zone. It's 20 0 at this point. Neville, they go on to win tonight. 41 7 over Minden. 
staying in 4A. Actually, no, this is this is Bozier. This is Bozier. Bozier taking on Loyola. We just showed you this game. Loyola recovering the fumble there. That's going to set up an Avian Smith field goal. Smith, we did a story on him this past summer trying to hopefully one day play for the Army football team. You keep making kicks like that, it just might happen. Trey Taylor, Taylor, nice carry here. Pushed out of bounds. Next play, Jacob Lafitte hitting Taylor in the flats. Taylor bringing it in himself for the score. Bearcats, though, they go on to win this game 26 to 23 over Loyola. All right, moving on. Our game of the week. All righty. It's time for a Southern Quality Ford game of the week. This game pits two undefeated teams against each other. The Joaquin Rams taking their staunch defense on the road to take on a Timpson team that's averaging over 53 points a game. Emma K. Few is in Timpson for the showdown and has more. In East Texas showdown in Timpson tonight, two undefeated teams battling it out for the District 10 2A title. Now for Timpson, they've been integrating two different quarterbacks, which both present their own challenges. For Joaquin, a highly physical team that lost 10 starters from last season, but has not showed that one bit this season. Let's see who was able to keep their undefeated record and get the district title win. Timpson starting things off strong. LT Washington hands it off to Braden Courtney, who takes care of the rest, pushing his way through to put up the first six of the night. And it doesn't get much better from that for the Rams. Joaquin out to pump at a bad snap makes matters worse. It's recovered by Tyler Lane, and it's bare ball again, taking advantage of that great field position. Courtney runs it in around the outside to extend Timpson's lead. It's 13-0, Bears on top. Chandler Pritchett's pass is intercepted by Terry Bussey, the freshman quarterback. Again, Bears are going to take advantage of winning that turnover battle. He's done it twice, but three times is the charm. Courtney taking it all the way down the field, this time to put up more points. It's 20-0 Bears. Now, Rams very sloppy with the ball tonight. It's fumbled yet again. Second time this quarter. This time it's recovered by the Bears' Trey Davis. Timpson going to turn that into points again. Now check out this beautiful pass from Washington, finding Davis in the end zone this time. Timpson leads 34-0 at the half. They go on to win it 63-0. We, we knew, we thought we'd be pretty good, but we didn't, you know, had no idea that it would be this good. The kids have just really bought in and executed everything that we've asked them to do. And, uh, you know, for the community and for the school to give us the support they have and for it to pay off for these guys, it's, it's just tremendous. You know, it's for the town, really. They haven't had a winning team in a long time, and we're glad that we could do that for them. We've got a bye week, finally. Uh, we've had 10 weeks in a row. Uh, hadn't had an off week, so, uh, you know, we're going to take a little little time off, heal up some bumps and bruises, and then uh, figure out who we're playing in the playoffs and get ready for those guys. Some exciting stuff there. Timpson clinching that district championship tonight. Now we're actually going to hear from Joaquin head coach Wade Lawson on Sunday in the Sunday Night Sports Blitz. We'll hear what's going on with his team as they prepare for the postseason. The Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz continues to roll on. We're about to head to Texas. Pleasant Grove looking to stay unbeaten in district play. Their highlights next.